The Sire kit consists of four drug containing tubes, three control tubes, revealing solution reagents, a tube containing glass beads and McFarland scale one. What is not supplied are disposable pipettes and loops, sterile distilled water, vortex and commonplace microbiology laboratory equipment. How to use kit. It requires at least 20 colonies isolated in a regular Lowenstein Jensen medium. The strain must be in an active growth phase and be four weeks old maximum. Retrieve a sample of the culture and transfer it to the tube with glass beads containing two milliliters of distilled water. Homogenize it and wait for 10 minutes. With the help of a pipette, retrieve the supernatant and drip it in a tube containing 4 milliliters of sterile distilled water until the turbidity of McFarland Scale 1 is reached. Retrieve one milliliter of the McFarland solution and transfer it to another tube containing nine millimeters of distilled water, keeping the dilution at a one to 10 ratio. We now have one tube with the first dilution, the McFarland solution, and the second tube with the one to 10 dilution. Transfer 0.2 milliliters of the 1 to 10 solution into each control tube. Transfer 0.2 milliliters of the McFarland solution into each drug containing tube. The incubation in the incubator must be done vertically. Keep the lids semi-open for 24 hours. Once fully closed, keep the tubes in the incubator for 7 days. After 7 days, retrieve one control tube and reveal it. The revealing solution is composed by reagents A, B, and C at a 1 to 2 to 2 ratio, respectively. Add 0.5 milliliters of the revealing solution into control tube 1. If the color of the liquid changes in control tube 1, continue with the revelation by adding 0.5 milliliters of the revealing solution in each drug containing tube. The reading is done by comparing the intensity of the color between the control tube and the drug containing tubes. When the color of the drug containing tube is as intense as or more intense than the controller's tube's color, the strain is resistant to the drug contained in the tube. When the color of the drug containing tube is less intense than the color of the control tube, the strain is sensitive to the drug contained in the tube.
In case there is no change in the color of control tube 1 during revelation, keep the drug containing tubes in the incubator and perform a reading on the 10th day using control tube 2. In case there is still no reaction, perform a reading on the 14th day using control tube 3 and then proceed with the revelation of the drugs.